Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Astrology Chat for September 28th, 2023. Today is wonky, but beautiful. The key is going to be not to try to make yourself stick to anything. This isn't a day we're trying to pin yourself or others to a wall. It's going to really work. In fact, it behooves you to step back and let yourself dream, let yourself pay attention, let yourself question the details and really say, is this what it is? Is this what I want? And if the answer is no, embracing the fact that there is an ending and that you're embarking on a new beginning. And as long as you allow yourself to have this flexibility and to have this consideration um, and to also allow yourself to be patient and not feel like you just have to do something so you can feel something or so that you can ignore what you're feeling, then you're going to be having a happy middle. And I say this because we have the moon in Pisces and the moon in Pisces is very active. The moon in Pisces is going to be opposing Mercury. And this is where you need to be careful about what is being said, about making sure the details are clear, about allowing yourself to know that you're going to want to go between logic and your emotions, that you're in the process of finding a balance between those two things. And that's okay. Um, Then you're also going to have a sextile to Uranus that's going to make you want to feel, it's going to make you want to be wild, it's going to make you want to take risks. And this is a good thing with inconsideration. Do be careful of not going overboard. Do be careful of not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Do allow yourself to say, I am in the process of creating long-term changes, not just instant gratification. Then we have that sextile to Pluto that is also going to help you integrate your subconscious. It's going to help you see things in the underworld, right, of your own subconscious or in other people's subconsciouses. But this is not necessarily something that you have to act on right away. Just notice. Notice where you are wearing a mask. Notice where other people are wearing a mask. And notice where those masks are slipping and or you just don't want to wear a mask anymore. And that's okay. And then we have the moon is going to also make a conjunction to Neptune. And so this is where things are really dreamy. Things are very ethereal. Things aren't actually always what they seem. There are messages from the seen and unseen. And again, there's this balance, this tension between what is logical and and what is emotional, what is seen and what is unseen, what is of this world and what is of other worlds, right? And it's very delicate that you are continuing to open up and give form and shape to your spirituality, to your gift, to the mystic with you in your daily life and be patient with that, right? There isn't a magic pill. There isn't a one trip of any kind that's going to suddenly crack open your third eye and teach you how to use it, right? You actually have to have experience. You actually have to have practice. You actually have to apply discernment and understanding and patience to really achieve that spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional growth that you're seeking. And then we have the moon's going to go into a void at 4.52 p.m. and then come out of void, of course, at 8, 18 p.m. and then move into Aries, where we're now in this very intense, very huge supermoon of Aries that overall is saying, you know, it's time for you to do what you need to do. And this isn't about other people. It's about what you want and where you're being called to do and where your spirit is leading you. So there's this first half of listening to what your spirit is saying to you, allowing it to kind of give you clues in a blueprint or an idea of where you need to be moving in a way different from where you have been. There's going to be this simmering period about this. And then that moon in Aries is going to light that fire underneath your behind and say like, okay, it's go time. We're done. It's time to be about what you are and what you want. And you know, to people or things that aren't aligned with it, this full moon coming up tomorrow very much has a like F you about it energy. You know, Uh, there's a point where You can't wait to be yourself for other people to approve because you can't wait for people who don't even approve of themselves to approve of you. There is just, there is a certain level of um, bravado that is required to really develop who you are. And so that's why I'm saying today is wonky, but beautiful. So let yourself go with the ebb and flows. Let yourself take time to yourself, spend time with yourself um, and make sure that you don't go overboard on anything you do, especially if you're somebody who partakes in other things that can con- conjunction to Neptune um, and that opposition to Mercury can make it hard for you to actually judge how much of anything you're doing. And that applies to a lot of directions. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.